In this Debaco University student series video, we're going to see cloning from a damaged plant so it can live on. We're going to see two plants that have endured some physical damage, and we're going to take some clones from them that we may not have considered otherwise. First one got damaged uh, the top, so we're going to kind of top, top that one and utilize that plant material. The one in the image here that fell over, we're going to see just how many clones you can get from a branch. Now, while they may not all root, at least taking them and giving them a chance to root would be encouraged because this is a great way to continue those genetics on a situation that might be a little unfortunate. So this CBD plant was unfortunately trampled by a mixture of both people and bunnies. And so we want to be able to salvage anything we can from this so that we don't just lose the entirety of what was damaged by people and by animals. So typically, like I said, you want your plant size to be about a hand, but due to the damage that it's endured, we can't really take the snipping right at the node. We want it to be a healthy, somewhat healthy plant. And so, instead, we're going to cut it above the node, still pretty close, but above, so that there's no damage in, right here. So now, hopefully, we could take what's left of this damaged plant and repurpose it into a new, hopefully healthy plant and allow this plant that has been damaged to take less stress off of trying to fix the damage on top and put its nutrients into the rest of the leaves so that hopefully it can recover from this injury. So unfortunately this plant endured a bit too much physical damage and has been unrooted from the ground. Now at this rate we're not going to get any yield from this plant since it obviously isn't growing but we've put so much effort into it already. So what else can we do? We could take clones, many clones. Now many people would see this plant and think okay I killed my cannabis plant and it's over. But I'm going to show you just how many clones you could take from a dead cannabis plant. So you're going to want to cut from the nodes always and try to get ones that have long stalks. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and 20. By now I think you get the point and realize that even though this may be a dead cannabis plant, there are many possibilities that you could choose to revive it and move on from this damage. <laughs> 